Welcome back. Well, Hannah Wilson is a much-loved Home and Away character who's had her fair share of turbulent love affairs and family dramas on the hit soapy. Yeah, played by Cassie Howlett, the actress faces her biggest challenge yet as her character fights for her life. This is real, 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 real love. Hannah Wilson is without doubt a Home and Away favourite after arriving in Summer Bay two years ago. My sister passed away over a year ago. Following the tragic loss of her sister, Hannah swallowed her grief to look after her niece and nephew. But it was her tumultuous on-again, off-again relationship with resident bad boy Andy Barrett, which had audiences hooked. So do I get to stay over after dinner? <laughs> Maybe. Last year, she became embroiled in a love triangle with Dr Nate Cooper, angering his wife Sophie and sparking one of the Soapy's most tragic incidents. Nate, I can't feel my legs. Now, after the show's dramatic bus crash, Hannah's life hangs in the balance. He said I may never walk again. We don't know that for sure. But whatever happens, I'll be here with you. I don't say that. Ooh, and Cassie Howarth, a.k.a. Hannah Wilson, joins us now live on the show. Welcome. Thank you. We've just seen uh, you in the terrible car crash, or Hannah, I should say, um, yeah. the bus crash. Is she going to pull through? Yeah, well, with injury, but yeah, she does. But she's got its long-lasting effects, what happens to Hannah. What happens to Andy? Are they going to rekindle their love? I mean, that's what, that's the big thing everyone wants to know, right? Yeah, I know. It's, it's just a bumpy road, I think, because she sort of, she'll need a lot of care, and so everyone that's close to her gets affected. Uh, what was it like, Cassie, reading the script, knowing you were going to leave 2014 on such a cliffhanger and you were going to play, you know, a pivotal yeah. part? It was really exciting, actually. Like, I think it was, it was kind of like the first time I've really been able to sink my teeth into something, you know, with acting-wise. And so I was actually, I'm really excited for this year. Is it quite hard to play a character like that? I mean, that's not something you've experienced, so what do you tap into? Yeah, it's really hard. I, I still, I mean, I look back on it and I still think, oh, I could have done this differently. Or, But you just, um, at the time, you just do as much research as you can and work on it as much as you can. I work with coaches and stuff like that and just try to do it justice. There's no doubt you're fantastic at your craft, but you play uh, alongside Ty, who we just saw. Uh, yeah. He recently got engaged. Yeah, he did. What, yeah. What's it like now, uh, you know, being romantic with Ty on the show and then maybe <laughs> perhaps bumping into his gorgeous fiance? Yeah. Hi, hi. Is there a bit of awkwardness No, there? there's not. Of course, when we first met, it's always like, oh, oh we hi. both punched the same yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> You've always got that, like, like, both trying to be extra nice to kind of make up for the weird situation. But no, we're, like, we're all friends on the show and it's, it's, um, she's, they're both so great, like, and, yeah, everybody loves them, so they're just, there's no issues there. Does she ever Fellas say, try lovely. not to enjoy it so much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, look, it's so mechanical. It's really weird. You just don't even like think that you're kissing. It's so we're just friends. It's so mechanical. Like, mm. so, yeah. do, you, do you get a lot of direction through those intimate moments? No, not really. They sort of just say, they're like, you. As long as you get the line, it's the the scene's not always. It's not really about the kiss. It's always about the what's happening in the scene, like the words. So you don't really. Sure, sure. You know, sure. Now, um, the, the character uh, of Sophie, who is Dr yeah. Nate Cooper, no relation to Harry Cooper, uh, she's quite out of control at the moment, isn't she, Cassie? Yes. Yeah, um, can we expect more tension in that love triangle that's going on between you and, and Dr Nate and Sophie? No, that's pretty much done with now. Okay. That's pretty over, yeah, which I'm sad about, actually, because I loved working with Bridget. She was awesome. And quite, it provided quite a storyline, too. Oh, She's so good. Now, it's tomorrow great. night, Pia Miller makes her Home and Away yep. debut. What can you tell us about her character? I know she's a cop. Yeah, she's a pretty hardline cop. Um, she's got a really good sense of humour, though. She's great to work with, Pia. Do you guys all hang out much? Yeah. I mean, uh, 
we you know, off to. camera or out and about. I mean, we've hung out with you at the Perth Telethon yeah. last year, which yeah. was a lot of fun. <laughs> but you all seem to be such a great family. Yeah, we do. We're so lucky. We all get along really well. It's a great cast. We're all friends. So we try to. It's just we're obviously all working often on our weekends as well. So mm. it, it is hard to make time. But we do what we can. Yeah. We had um, Ray Mahi yesterday, and he's obviously into his 27th year, or I think, or 28th yeah, year. Yeah, wow. Is that something that you would want? Or do you want it to be like... Like a short stint then you do you want to go to LA like other people from home and away have what's your dream? Um, at the moment I'm just really happy to have the constant work so I, I'm not sure how I'll feel in a couple of years time but um, I'm loving the show at the moment so yeah I'm open to whatever comes well you've done a great job yeah. it's a real cliffhanger at the moment Cassie <laughs> it's lovely to see you again thanks for having me we can't <laughs> wait to find out of course all the drama of home and away you can tune in tonight here at uh, on 7 at 7 p.m. Don't miss it.